In this video, we show you the RAS Pro Smart Tail Light that I was sent by Shanren. Shanren is a relatively new company that in the last few years uh, has developed some really interesting cycling accessories uh, with innovative features but still keeping affordable prices. Uh, the RAS Pro Tail Light uh, followed this trend by offering unique smart features that make it much more than a simple light. It comes in two different versions. Uh, one is designed to be mounted under the saddle's frame and the other one with a mount that can be fitted both on a helmet or a seat post. Uh, if you want uh, different mounts from the one you have, it is also possible to buy them separately as you can see from the small boxes here. On the front of the box, you're able to see the type of uh, mount uh, that is included if, uh, just by looking at these uh, small pictures here. And at the bottom, you can see the main features of the RAS Pro tail light. So we get uh, brake warning, road bump warning, the ability to select different light colors. Uh, we have light sensing that can automatically adjust brightness according to the ambient light. And we have an auto wake up feature that uses a sensor to detect movement and turn the light on and off accordingly. Another fun feature uh, of these lights, if you own more than one or if you're riding with others who have the same light, is the ability to have them uh, automatically sync with each other. Uh, so when, when you're using the same setting, even if you start the lights at a different time, they will all automatically synchronize and just flash at the same time. All these features are, are customized to your own taste by using an app available for both Android and iOS devices. And the light can also be used uh, by simply operating a single button. Once the app is downloaded, you ask for a quick registration and then you're ready to pair the RAS Pro with your phone in order to set up all these features. Once the light is turned on, it is quickly recognized by a Bluetooth. I just choose RAS, give it a name, which can be useful if having more than one light to set up, and the battery charge is shown on the top right corner. Now I'm ready to customize it. In color management, you can change the color from the default red. You then choose your favorite lighting modes by adding them or removing them from this menu. Here you can set up the auto team up function that recognizes them when other RAS lights are within 50 meters and sync with them. And in scenario, you can calibrate the sensors according to the roads you mostly ride and whether it is mounted on the bike or on the helmet. On the same screen, you turn on or off the smart features of braking alert, light sensing and bumping alert. Finally, you can set up the auto sleep time mode. After the initial setup, you won't really need to use the app anymore, unless you want to modify settings or if you want to have a precise check on the battery charge level. To operate the light is easy. A push of the button turns the light on. A double push can be used to select a series of different colors. A single push to iterate through the flash modes you had enabled. And a long push is used to switch it off. With the saddle version you get a saddle bracket which sits on the under saddle rails and is fixed using two of the four zip ties that are provided. Then you just attach a light and twist it until you hear it click and a simple press of the button will start a light. The helmet or seat post version comes with two types of rubber instead. There is this concave one, uh, which is the one that you use to attach to the seat post. And then you get a thinner, softer one which is used on the helmet mount. You get the bracket itself and then you get some uh, elasticated loops. And then you use the loop according to the type of seat post you have, you might have to attach to. And that's what I had to do on my Brompton. So if you just link two of them uh, or you know, see what is the best option uh, according to your seat post. Once the bracket is uh, properly fixed, on the, in the same uh, way we just twist the light until it clicks. 
And now for the, the sync function, we can see it here. So if I start uh, the light at the top, and then I start the one at the bottom. And as you see, after a few seconds, it's really neat, and they start flashing together. You use the same rubber loops to attach the mount to your helmet. And in the same way, uh, once it's mounted, uh, it will synchronize, of course, uh, the two lights in the same way. There we go. The Raspro taillight is designed around 12 full color LEDs arranged in a circular pattern and has a 16 lumen output which guarantees a good visibility. Wartime is advertised at 24 hours under red flash mode. It takes two hours to fully recharge and has an IP68 waterproof rating. Now, testing the smart features on the bike, everything worked as advertised and the sensor seemed actually very, very responsive uh, and it always triggered uh, the appropriate light mode. Here you can see examples from my test ride. So the first you will see is the brake function. So as you see, it will trigger a stronger light, like a stop light, like it should do. Here you can see it with both lights on the helmet or on the, on the seat. The road bumper ride triggers a white light as soon as you hit a hole. And this is the auto off function. So after a minute of the bike uh, being inactive, not moving, the light will switch off automatically. And as soon as we get back on the bike and restart, the lights go on and they start sinking. The Raspro taillight is an interesting product for those that want more than a standard light. Despite being advertised as a tail light, uh, the ability to customize uh, all the colors in these lights mean that they can also be used as a front light. For example, you can attach it to the handlebar using the seat post mount. While the sync function, when using more than one of these lights, is a nice touch, what I most like about the RAS Pro is how responsive the brake and road bump warnings are. For cyclists using their bikes in cities or uh, riding in traffic, uh, these are very useful features that beyond making you visible uh, can also increase your safety. The advertised runtime of uh, 24 hours seems a little optimistic and might be achieved only by using the light without some of the smart features. Uh, when these are all enabled, they do affect the battery charge, uh, which doesn't come as a big surprise. I tested my unit in full daylight, which would trigger the sensor to output a, a brighter light. And with all features enabled, after two hours of riding, it retained 62% battery charge. Now, given all the extra functionality, I think this was quite good. But if you want to use the light for longer rides, uh, it makes sense to disable some of these smart features, uh, like ambient light, road bump warning, or even the sync function, unless you're riding with other people. One thing I would change is the proprietary magnetic charging cable. Uh, I'm not sure if this choice was in order to make the light uh, as compact uh, as this is, uh, but as a lot of gadgets nowadays already use mini USB, uh, it would make it more compatible. And if the original cable for some reason is lost or misplaced, one will still be able uh, to charge the light. Now the RAS Pro uh, with seat post helmet mounts retail in the UK for £29.99 and in the US for $30.99. As usual, you will find direct link in the information just below this video. Thank you for watching and I hope I will be seeing you soon on another video.